All right. Hold on, there's traffic, uh, Zulu, zero, Zulu rolling one zero. There's 60. And here we go. Big boy, take off. <laughs> There you go, positive climb on this Open side. Traffic. Go after go You're up. Is rolling take off uh, one zero eastbound departure. Vinyl's still sticking. That's a good thing, Paul. Are you panicking yet, Paul? I don't see any vinyl. <laughs> it already came off. Man! <laughs> I'm gonna stick to your right wing. Yep. See the way we shook? That's us passing right behind them. Yep. Want to take control, Paul? You got it. I have control. Yeah, I have control. So we're 5200. Let's bring her up to about 55. Can you see the uh, altitude there? You've yep. also got it down here, okay? I have to get used to the horizon picture. Different, eh? Yep. Oh, I'm distracted by the orange and black. To tell you the truth, <laughs> I'm not used to seeing it there. It's like, what is this? Okay, so I'm gonna turn on the autopilot. Okay. okay, and we're gonna do, oh, wrong place, no, nope. there we go, engaged, and I'm gonna put heading, so it's at 5620, and 6566, hey, it's doing it, oh, trim down, look, it actually, the trim comes up, this is freaking awesome. I guess it was a me problem, which never happens. Oh, the autopilot works. All right, so so we've got it holding at 5620. I've got my heading set at 65, but what I had done was is I set, I hit the autopilot on, and uh, and this is pretty cool. It works. Wait, does it really work, Paul? Look. Wake up! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it works! Well, this sucks. Two pilots sitting down just watching the plane fly. 5620 dead on. So down here is where the trim appears, the trim up or down. And what happens is it changes colors. Like if it's severe, it becomes red. It goes to yellow gotcha. and green. So that's a good thing. Uh, it's holding the heading because I selected uh, hold uh, heading and uh, altitude. So now I know it's the third one. Um, okay. All right, so the good news is, uh, for everyone out there, Paul is back. He just called me crying like a little baby, so I gave him the baby headset. <laughs> but it helps because when he's been screaming, you can't hear anything. Uh, I don't want to embarrass him, so I won't play that part. <laughs> Uh, so the goal today was to go up and one, uh, the uh, see if the vinyl sticks on nicely and well, I can't tell, but maybe there's nothing left on the back of us. <laughs> I know that the cowling is still fine, uh, but we are also out. The plan was to, to test the autopilot. So it wasn't as big a deal as I thought it would be because it seems to work. Uh, what we're going to do now is we've been doing some flying around, as you saw, but what we're going to do, uh, Paul, is... We'll take it out to an area past this airport over here. We'll set the autopilot on, but I'd like to put an airport into here and see how that works. Okay? Because my problem right now is, uh, if you, did you watch your last video, Paul? I did. On the autopilot? I'm a faithful subscriber. Yes, you are. And you, you too need to subscribe. <laughs> yes, you do. And watch everything. Uh, it helps out. Uh, so uh, you, what happened is, is, you know, I've been reading the documentation, Paul, but problem is is that the documentation is based on the newer model although the functionality is in this uh, EFIS it is based on the newer model so Tony you have me flying the plane right now yeah do you mind if I ask you a question yes what's that spinny thing out the front you can see it that's not good <laughs> you're not supposed to see it oh <laughs> It was there before. No, it's your imagination. This is 
uh, you know, come on. You come up here, you know, you come up with these radical, crazy ideas like there's something there. It's nothing. So this plane does not need a propeller or an engine. What you hear, that sound you hear in the background, Paul? It's my heart. This plane runs on love. And as long as there's love in it, well, I can't even, I don't believe that shit either. Uh, yeah. So uh, we've got this going, Paul. I've uh, put the autopilot in. I'm quite pleased so far because at worst, even if it all goes to hell, I know this thing will hold my altitude and I can steer with it uh, on the dial over here to select the specific heading. All right, so for everyone, Paul and I have discussed this in advance. The idea here is that he uh, it has control right now, and once I turn on the autopilot, uh, obviously I'll have my head in the cockpit, and Paul will have his head out and watching. And if he tells me to shut off the autopilot, I shall, as he is my eyes and uh, technically, I guess, pilot in command when we're doing this. Okay. So uh, my idea here is that as soon as we're uh, level there, we're going to just activate the autopilot one more time so I can take notes of a couple of things that I wanted to look at. And um, so you're still flying the plane. I'm turning the power on. The power is on the autopilot. Power on. And by default, what happened, what's going to happen is I'm going to click the autopilot switch, the intermittent switch, which will engage the autopilot. And then I decide whether I want the plane to keep its altitude and heading on the way we are now. So I'm going to turn it on. And I establish that S and L hold out and heading is exactly what I want. So I will click this and this should hold us at 5,400 feet uh, with a heading. So this has trimmed down. You see it's going yellow now. So I've got to trim down. Maybe we'll just give it a little edge there and see if that helps it a little more. Autopilot coming on. Yeah, runway looks clear. And I want to say, uh, let's do this. 180 yeah, altitude hold. So it's going to do 180 degrees altitude hold. Well, that worked out nicely. Eyes are out, Paul. Okay, I'm going to disengage. Yep. Paul, you take control and head us back on course. Yep. Disengaging. Disengaged. Disengaged. Can you see the wind, sir? That's what I'm going to check. Stand by. All right, so that's cool. So it'll do my turn. So that was it. 180. And if we do a clearing turn before we do it. Yeah, you're right. That was my bad. No. I just clicked it and I went, oh, I should have checked first. So we're just going to continue straight. I'm not going to do the 180 again. So we'll head back along the green that was there previously and we'll just kind of yeah, go like that. Looks like they're uh, laid out of the west, so I'm going to use uh, 160. Okay, so for everybody, Paul is a commercial pilot. Uh, and when we fly together, we constantly call each other out if there's something wrong. So uh, for anybody going, wow, what a snob this guy Paul is, uh, I am not offended by this at all. I kind of like it, as a matter of fact. So, uh, and Paul is also going for his instructor, I guess, eventually. And uh, that's when I stop flying with him, because then he'll just be a snob. <laughs> I'm already a snob. Traffic Jet Air with you, Mike Yankee. Okay, so we're going to try something. As we're heading north here, I'm going to try something. I want to activate or try to figure out how, um, if this plane's going to take me to CEA3, okay, which is our, our home airport. So I'm clicking it on the GPS here. It's, it's going to register it on my EFIS, calculate my distance and my winds now. So we know that I guess it's uh, we're going to go on 28 again, right? Because what I want to do is I want to be able to try to get this GPS to external. Okay, so now this is my thing is I don't know if this is the autopilot for there or the other one is. So I'll say external too. Yeah, there you go. So this should be heading us towards the airport. Okay, so we're approaching 4,700 feet. Uh, seems the camera's overheating here on us. Uh, the GPS will track on the uh, on the uh, Garmin 296, believe it or not. So what you're seeing now on the screen is exactly that. Oh, this is very traffic. Do if you're zoom overhead, join mid left down one two eight full stop. Okay, time to focus now. Here's my 117. Here's coming down. Autopilot Here's, off. Autopilot is off completely. 
That was just very Zulu Sierra Zulu, turning left base to a full stop. Okay, undercarriage, mixture rich. Lights on. Seatbelts on, Paul? No. Nope. We're good. Old Sidbury Air Traffic, Cyber Seneca Golf Hotel in Mawiski. Is about three miles from uh, threshold of 28, planning a missed approach, and then we'll be departing to the southwest. Old Sidbury Air Traffic, Cyber Seneca Golf Hotel in Mawiski. Old Sidbury Zulu, Sierra Zulu, turning final, 28, close stop. The wind is crossing big time. Under 60, apply brakes. All right, folks. Thanks for joining me one more time. Uh, hopefully this all comes together nicely. Paul, thank, thank you for you. coming. And Paul, thank you. Paul would be coming flying more often, we hope. Absolutely. Uh, this was good. This was good. Now we're going to go inspect the vinyl, see if it came off the plane. <laughs> the thing we took before pictures. Yeah, thank God. We knew what it looked like before. Looked really good before. <laughs> all right, everybody. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining us. Like, subscribe. Take care.